Welcome to Geology Info. Information saves lives. Always seek official sources. Located in the Campania region of southern Italy, the Campi Flegrei supervolcano is one of the most closely monitored volcanic systems in the world. Situated west of Naples, this massive geological caldera covers an area of approximately 40 square miles, about 100 square kilometers, and includes several cities and densely populated neighborhoods. Unlike Mount Vesuvius, which rises with a well-defined volcanic cone, Campi Flegrei extends over a wide depression formed by successive eruptions over thousands of years. Within this context, the beach of Bagnoli recently returned to the spotlight, not because of its natural beauty, but due to an unusual phenomenon observed in its waters. Impressive images circulated on social media showing the sea bubbling near the old Idlesider Pier in an area known as Ismos. Witnesses reported continuous jets of bubbles emerging from the seabed as if the water were boiling. The scene attracted swimmers and onlookers, raising immediate concern. It is important to emphasize that this practice is dangerous and should not be imitated. Member of Parliament Francesco Emilio Borelli personally visited the site and, faced with the situation, contacted the Vesuvius Observatory, the institution responsible for volcanic surveillance in the region, linked to Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV. The main question was, whether the phenomenon was volcanic in origin, or if it could be linked to a non-natural gas leak. The fact is that the Campi Flegre supervolcano has a known history of releasing underground gases, such as carbon dioxide, CO2, which has previously been detected in high concentrations in schools and buildings in the Pozzuoli area, affecting residents' health. Therefore, it would not be surprising if these emissions were also appearing in coastal waters. Local authorities reported that this was not the first time such a phenomenon had been recorded in the Gulf of Pozzuoli. The hydrothermal system of the caldera extends beneath the sea, and the emission of underwater fumaroles, openings in the seabed releasing volcanic vapors and gases, has been documented for years. In fact, the Medusa monitoring system, consisting of underwater sensors and surface buoys, has been tracking these manifestations for some time. However, the recent increase in intensity, combined with a new sequence of tremors, reignited concern. The mayor of Pozzuoli announced a new sequence of seismic events associated with Campi Flegre, with a maximum magnitude of about 2.2, reinforcing the idea that something unusual may be underway. The city, accustomed to episodes of low-magnitude earthquakes, seems to be experiencing a continuous seismic swarm, with only short pauses between one sequence and another. The ground in the region also continues to rise due to magmatic inflation, one of the classic signs of volcanic activity and depth. Despite the growing concern, the INGV declared that the phenomenon observed at Bagnoli Beach is, for now, within the known patterns of supervolcano activity. According to the latest bulletin, the gases released are predominantly carbon dioxide, and there are no immediate signs of an impending eruption. However, the combination of rising fumarole temperatures, continuous ground uplift, and frequent seismicity requires constant attention. Monitoring continues 24 hours a day, and scientists emphasize that surveillance does not eliminate risks. It only allows for faster response if necessary. Even with official statements attempting to reassure the population, the presence of bathers at Bagnoli Beach raises serious questions. Many ignore the warnings, even knowing that the area is classified as unsuitable for swimming. The reason goes beyond volcanic activity. For decades, the region was home to a massive industrial plant that left behind heavy metal contamination in both soil and water. Even after more than 35 years since the factory was shut down, heavy metals remain, making the environment unsafe for recreation. Nevertheless, the beach continues to attract visitors, especially during the European summer. Images shared by politicians and environmentalists show people swimming directly in the areas affected by fumaroles, apparently unaware of the risks. Although warning signs exist in certain spots, enforcement seems weak, and many treat the phenomenon with curiosity or even indifference. This mix of misinformation and normalization of risk creates a false sense of safety in a territory that, in reality, lives under constant natural threat. The conclusions presented here are based on official bulletins, INGV, Vesuvius Observatory. The Medusa system, responsible for monitoring underwater activity, is frequently damaged, According to the INGV, both surface buoys and underwater sensors have been targeted by vandalism or collisions with boats. 
These failures compromise real-time tracking of emissions and geological movements beneath the sea. The negligence is serious, since these instruments represent one of the main early warning tools for the local population. Fumaroles have also been observed outside Bagnoli. Similar reports came from Lake Avernus, the Pozzuoli Dock, and the submerged archaeological park of Baiae, reinforcing the idea that the hydrothermal system of Campi Flegre is spread widely across the territory. These points, where heat and gases escape from the ground, indicate that volcanic activity remains constant and growing inside the caldera, even if still at moderate levels. Another concerning factor is the continuous ground uplift, which has been recorded at an average of about half an inch, about 1.5 centimeters per month. This inflation of the Earth's crust is caused by the pressure of hot fluids, gases and magma, accumulating beneath the surface. Although this deformation is not new, its persistence, combined with increasing fumarole temperatures and seismicity, has led scientists to emphasize that while the signs must be closely monitored, there is no evidence of an imminent eruption according to INGV. The local population has lived with these risks for years, but recent events such as gas jets in the sea and new tremors highlight that Campi Flegre is not dormant. On the contrary, it continues to accumulate energy. Although it is impossible to predict when or if this energy will be released, the current behavior of the system deserves constant vigilance and respect for scientific guidelines. Attention to geological details of Campi Flegre has intensified further after the latest seismic bulletin, which recorded 53 events between August 4th and August 10th. The strongest earthquake reached magnitude 2.2, considered minor, but significant within such a stressed volcanic system. Most tremors measured below 1.0, classified as micro-seismic activity. Even though these quakes are imperceptible to residents, they indicate continuous underground movements that must not be ignored. The epicenter of the strongest tremor was located north of Pozzuoli, an area considered critical because it intersects important evacuation routes, such as the Tangenziale di Napoli. This highway is essential in the official evacuation plan in case of eruption, but there are serious concerns about its infrastructure. Many sections, including bridges and viaducts, have not yet been fully reinforced. The modernization works are scheduled to be completed only by the year 2027, representing a real risk if an emergency occurs earlier. The existence of these structural weaknesses directly undermines the effectiveness of evacuation planning. Should infrastructure collapse during a critical event, the entire plan could fail. This vulnerability has been criticized by both experts and local residents, who demand faster reinforcement works. In emergencies, response time can determine how many lives will be preserved. Inside the caldera, heating signals continue to increase. One of the most closely monitored points is the fumarole known as BG, located in the Solfatara crater, considered one of the areas with the highest eruptive risk. Sensors installed at the LXO V5 station indicate that the average temperature of emissions has reached about 329 degrees Fahrenheit, about 165 degrees Celsius, and it has been rising steadily in recent weeks. This heating is another indication that the underground hydrothermal system is becoming more active and energized. In addition to temperature increases, geochemical measurements show a rise in gas flux, especially carbon dioxide. Although no sudden variations have been observed recently, scientists stress that this upward trend has persisted for months. The system's behavior is interpreted as a gradual buildup of energy, which demands constant vigilance. The content of this video is based on official bulletins, INGV, Vesuvius Observatory. If you found this content useful and want to follow more updates on volcanoes, earthquakes, and other natural phenomena explained in a simple and clear way, subscribe to the channel now. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any important alerts or updates. Leave a comment below with your opinion. Do you think the current monitoring is enough to guarantee people's safety? Share this video with friends and family so more people understand what is happening and stay informed. Information saves lives. Always seek official sources.